Hey, what is up, guys? So today, day five, it's all about mastering your motivation. So everything that we've kind of gone through over the last four days um, in creating our plan, learning more about nutrition, learning more about the type of movement we should be doing or exercise or training we should be doing that can help us work towards our goals. And then obviously yesterday we worked on mastering your plan. So putting everything together, what you should be doing on a daily basis, but without having the motivation to actually take action on everything, it's really going to be worthless. So if you are really serious about working towards your goals, if you do really want to lose weight, drop body fat, you want to get fitter, you want to get stronger, then today is all about giving you that boost, igniting that fire inside your belly to get you moving and to where you want to be. So to kick off today, it's just about recognizing that motivation comes from within. And once we create that burning desire to want more in our lives, it's then we become unstoppable. And striving for more in different areas of, of our lives and not settling for average, because at the end of the day, we only live once. So when you're unmotivated, this can lead to feeling stressed, fatigued, frustrated, angry, unhappy. You can feel like you're just constantly spinning your wheels. And when we feel like this, we tend to fall into a cycle where these feelings can escalate even more and we can fall deeper into that unmotivated hole. When we feel these things, it's important that we're able to, I suppose, take a step back, look at our life and take a moment to ask ourselves, what is it that we really want? Remember, nothing changes if nothing changes. And if you keep doing the same thing you've always done, you're always going to end up with the same result. So today we're going to go through some key strategies to help boost your motivation. So the very first part we're going to go through is finding your why. So why is this important to you right now? Um, next up, we're going to um, uh, another key strategy then is really about uh, creating a vision board or some sort of goal visualization. So having something on your phone, on your laptop, having a picture of something, something that you can constantly see on a daily basis that's going to remind you of where you it is that you want to go to keep help you, I suppose, um, keep that motivation burning to know that you have a destination, you have somewhere that you're trying to get to. Next up with key strategies, it's about, I suppose, having accountability and having a support group. So who are the people around you that will support you on your journey? Is it friends? Is it a partner? Um, do you even like have even a coach to help you accountable and help you stay on track? So having that support group is really important, especially when you hit barriers, if you feel you're falling off track. So someone that can, I suppose, be open and honest with you, someone that can pick you up when you're down and someone that can keep reminding you about why you're actually doing this. Um, another key strategy as well is about making sure that you are celebrating wins along the way. It doesn't matter how big or small those wins are. The most important thing is that you are recognizing those wins because every win you achieve, it's bringing you that step closer towards what it is that you want to be able to achieve. So what you could do here is having something like a success bank, which is basically like imagine just having a jar. And every time you achieve something, whether it's drinking more water for the day, getting to the gym three, to three, three times a week, hitting your 10,000 steps, losing that first kilo, whatever it is, write that down, stick it in your success bank, stick it in a little jar. And at the end of the month, have a look at your jar, start taking out the things, read through what you've actually written down, put in there. And that would be a massive boost of motivation to show you that you are making progress and that the work you're putting in is actually paying off. Now, the next part of a key strategy is the power of positive self-talk and affirmations. And we're going to go into this a little bit more later on, but the power of positive self-talk, because at the end of the day, and, and I know this from my own personal experience, I used to keep telling myself I'm no good at this. I can't do that. I'll never be able to achieve this or that. But having reframing my thinking and reframing my mind to using more positive stuff, saying, yes, I can do it. Yes, I can achieve this. Yes, I can become this person was a huge boost for me to kind of I suppose reframe my thinking because at the end of the day your your mind doesn't know what's the difference between what's made up and what's reality and the more you tell yourself something the more you start to believe it whether it's true or not whether it's positive or negative so if you keep telling yourself negative things you're going to act, start acting upon those negative um uh, negative thoughts whereas if you start to tell yourself positive things yes and i can lose weight yes i can improve my health yes i am going to be fitter yes i am going to be stronger you keep telling yourself those things, you will act upon it and you will start working towards those things. Um, and then when you do get to where you want to be, it's all about rewarding yourself, refocus, reset your goals and bang, go again. So starting off, um, asking yourself that question, what is your why? So you should probably have this written down already from yesterday's session. 
but for me, it's about being the best version I can for myself and to ensure I can, I suppose, turn up being an inspiration for my family, my clients. And to be honest, I want to be able to live by example, like having that balanced life, having the energy to keep up with my kids over the years ahead, um, showing up on a daily basis to show my clients that I'm willing to push myself constantly and challenge myself to become so much more. And to push myself and challenge myself, I did something there leading up to Christmas, which was a hundred day cold water um, challenge. So for a hundred days, what I did is I set up a shower outside and I literally got in the cold water every single day for a hundred days leading up into the, towards Christmas. And there were some mornings where it was like minus three outside. There was ice there. The cars were frozen. And I got out and I got into that shower. And the goal was to hit that three minute mark every single day. And I did it. And for me, it was about building resilience, building that mental strength, overcoming mental barriers, because I hate the cold. I absolutely hate it. Sure. Anybody that knows me, assuming the gym, I always have a jacket on and a hat on and stuff because I'm always frozen. But to, for me, this was about pushing myself to do something I did not want to do. And it's just like someone wanting to change their eating habits. It is going to be hard. It is going to be tough. And sometimes you have to have the mental battle with yourself to be able to overcome those challenges to improve on your eating habits, to push yourself to go to the gym, to get out and go for a run, to get out and go for walks and stuff like that. And that this was the same thing for me. And I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. And I wanted to show other people as well that I'm willing to kind of push myself outside my comfort zone each and every day and stick to what I said I was doing. So if you were following me on um, say Instagram and stuff like that, you were seeing I put up a video every single day when I was doing it on my stories and I was just sharing that I was going out there. For me as well, that was a bar, part of um, having accountability because I have people in the gym asking me, oh, I've I seen your video this morning or how was the cold shower this morning? So people were watching and that was an extra push for me to say, do you know what? I have to do it because I said I was going to do it. And then by posting it up, it was, was that accountability for myself. So that's kind of really what I say is that I do push myself. So it all comes back to asking yourself why you want to do this, um, asking yourself why this is important to you right now. So when you kind of ask those questions, you have to think about what comes into your mind when you ask yourself that. Like, why do you want to do this? Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to get to where you want to be? Do you want to be an inspiration for your family? Do you want to be able to climb a mountain? Do you want to be able to do a half marathon or a marathon? So whatever it is, you need to hone in on that and use that as your spark. Use that as your motivation to keep yourself going. So next exercise I want to do is asking yourself this question. I'll make sure you have a pen and paper for this one. And it's, asking you who is your superhero self so think about this now if you could eliminate all barriers and become the person you truly want to be what would they do different than you do now so think about that and i want you to write down the answer to that question so if you could eliminate everything that's stopping you eliminate all barriers if they weren't there at all what would you do different to become your own superhero self and you know, thinking about your own superhero self as well. Again, hit pause on this video if you need to. Take your time to write down the answers to these. So ask yourself, what does your superhero self look like? Next one then is, how do they feel about themselves? When they look in the mirror, how does your superhero self feel? What emotions come in? And now ask yourself, what time do they get out of bed every morning? Then next, you're going to ask, them, ask yourself, what do they eat every day? Then what activities do they do every week? Ask yourself, what do they do for fun? How do they show up to their family? How do they show up and work? And the last one then is, if you to become your own superhero self right now, what do you need to be doing different? So this is a really, really great exercise because I want you to really kind of think outside the box. And when you're writing down the answers to these, like you might have a bit of resistance. You might not believe that you can become that that person, that your superhero self. So I want you to really take your time on this. And as I said from the start, eliminate all barriers. Don't let yourself hold yourself back from writing down the answers to these. Because it is a really great question. And by doing this as well, it starts to set the seeds in your own subconscious mind. And once you do that, then they're going to start manifesting. And then that's what's going to allow you to be able to start to build a belief that you can become this person that you want to, that you truly want to be, which is your own superhero self. 
And at the end of the day, becoming who you want to be isn't easy, but believe me, it is worth it. Um, you will have to be willing to change. You'll have to be willing to do things different, becoming more in yourself. You need to be willing to push yourself outside your comfort zone, not be afraid to ask for help and know you're worth it 100 percent. Know that you can and will achieve anything you truly desire as long as you can build that belief inside yourself that it is possible. At the end of the day, you are an inspiration. You are your own superhero. So it's time to take a step into those superhero shoes and let nothing stop you. So it's really about taking on this journey, grasping it with both hands and just hitting it head on. And to be honest, what I've become, um, and I'm speaking from my own kind of, I suppose, personal journey, um, the things I've overcome myself, having no confidence, no self-esteem, hating who I was, depression, panic attacks, suicide attempts, losing contact with my family, divorce, losing everything. And right now, I am my own superhero. I get to work with amazing people daily. I have an amazing relationship with my family. I have my own amazing family, daughter and stepson, engaged to be married. I'm forever grateful for everything I've been through as it's made me who I am today. And if I can do this, you 100% can do this. So moving into the power of positive self-talk and affirmations. So again, like I said earlier, this was a huge part for me. And like I said as well, our minds don't know the difference between what's made up and what's reality. And what we tell ourselves daily, it's how we're going to act upon it. So here's a, an exercise for you. And what I want you to do is take your time on this again. Hit the pause if you need to. And I want you to write down three to five powerful self-talk statements that you're willing to commit to saying to yourself on a daily basis. So examples are, I am successful. I am happy. I am fit and healthy. I'm living my life to my full potential. I am a loving partner and father. I am an inspiration. I am my own superhero. So try and start um, each of the statements with I am. So you're speaking to yourself directly. Come up with three to five based on who the person you want to become. And again, if you have any resistance against uh, writing these things down, um, that means you're on the right track there. If it makes you feel a bit uneasy writing them down, again, that means you're on the right track because you're you're stepping outside your comfort zone and pushing yourself to becoming that person. So again, write down three to five I am statements. and But then you need to commit to saying these daily because once you do, like I said, you will start acting upon them. And it will, it can and will change your life if you do kind of commit to doing this because it's had a massive impact on my whole life. So guys, that is the end of today's session. So just a quick summary um, of everything that we've gone through so far. And the first part is ask yourself what it is you truly want to achieve and then work backwards from there. Figure out what your biggest challenges are and set a plan in place to move forward. Plan out your activity and your nutrition for the week ahead. Focus on positive self-talk that will <clears throat> that you will do daily to help reframe your thinking and your beliefs. Become your own superhero and map out the steps you're willing to take to step into their shoes. Make sure what you do has a long-term focus and suits you and your lifestyle moving forward. And then get help from someone that has walked the path that you want to take. So guys, I hope you got a lot of value from these five days. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, I do have a coaching program, been working with people now for the last 16 years or so. Like I say, we're putting a huge focus into fitness, nutrition, mindset, motivation, helping you map out exactly what it is you need to be doing to get you where you want to be. And we do this by creating a tailored plan that suits you and your lifestyle, focus on identifying habits that need to be changed and what needs to be introduced, creating a tailored training plan that's fun, challenging and works for you. And then on top of that as well, you get access into a huge library of educational stuff, recipe books, workshops and more. And on top of that, we'll have like weekly check ins to identify any challenges that pop up to keep you moving forward. Now, I did have a couple of people reach out to me yesterday um, that were interested in um, getting started in the program and they got the 20 percent off. So I do have one spot left. So if anybody is interested in just even getting some info on my coaching program or having a bit of a chat, um, shoot me a message with the word interested and I'll send you on some info. From there, we can book and have a call. We can have a bit of a chat. We can see if this actually, if you feel this is going to be a good fit for you. If not, no problem at all. At least then we can, you'll have a better understanding of what it's all about. 
And if, if you're interested in getting started, then yeah, we'll get you started, we'll get you set up and we'll get you moving forward. So again, thank you for taking the time out to watch the video and all the other videos. And I hope you got some value anyway from the last five days. All right, guys, catch you soon.